Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report sponsored by Delta.Exchange. And today, uh, there is nothing different. It's same as last two days. What happened last two days? SGX Nifty indicated lower opening, but we did not open as per SGX Nifty. We opened higher and then we moved even higher. And then intraday sell-off came and we went and tested the SGX Nifty low. And then again, sometimes we recovered and sometimes we did not recover. And it's exactly the same thing. SGX Nifty was indicating 70, 80 point down and then we opened higher. And within few minutes, sell-off came and tested SGX Nifty low. And then again went 200 point higher, then came down 100 point, again 100 point, you know. So the markets are just too volatile. It's exactly like US market, US market also the same thing. So in the afternoon, the European markets opened uh, slightly lower, but then uh, there's a built up and they started trading in firmly in green and then US features are also traded higher. So after 12.30, 1 o'clock and there's a good amount of short covering in our market. So that took Nifty uh, significantly higher and nobody expected more than 200 point intraday move today. From intraday low to intraday high, I think today it is about 215 points move on the higher side. At the end of the day, the Nifty closed about 105 points higher. Out of this 105 points, the 75% of the rally has come only from Reliance. And Reliance and Infosys are the only two stocks contributed to the entire rise in the market. And once again, the people will start talking, you know, uh, Reliance GRM and this and that. And basically, uh, people thought, you know, uh, Reliance will invite some additional tax from the government uh, to cover the shortfall in excise duty cut on petroleum products. That has not materialized. So, uh, it is seeing some short covering. And today, IT stocks also helped. And because the US features were higher. And Bank Nifty unexpectedly underperformed. And in fact, Today, all sectoral indices ended in green except financials. And after a long time, today HDFC twins are the two stocks which are contributors to the highest contributors to the nifty on the downside. So today it is TCS, Infosys and Reliance on the higher side, HDFC and HDFC uh, bank on the downside. So, uh, this weekly expiry has gone very well and as I told you yesterday, uh, those people who have sold huge amount of call options, 16.5, 16.6, uh, all the call options and you know, uh, today gave them a chance in the morning, market opened lower, they could have covered their uh, call options, but those who held on to it had to face the heat and probably that is the reason why. Nifty even crossed 16,600 on the higher side. And now the basic question, is this a turnaround story or it is only a relief rally? So I still believe that uh, this is a turnaround story and uh, but the way you know people talking in US, they are talking as if this is a relief rally and uh, once again the market may crash. So let us see what happens. But I will not be bearish in the short term as long as 16,400 is held on the downside and I will not become bearish in the longer term as long as 15,700 is held on the downside. And surprisingly 16,425, 430, uh, two times we went very close to 16,400 but we did not break 16,400. So that is something really very good and therefore most of the strategies which I am having, uh, you know, uh, slightly bullish strategies. And next week is going to be very, very interesting and after a long time, I am seeing lot of activity in the options and looking at the next week options, 
16,600, all calls were written. 16,600, 500, 400, 300, 100, all puts were also written. And usually, people become so active like this if they think that the markets are going to stabilize and you know the markets may not be making a big move or big gap up or big gap down so that they can adjust their positions. So the option sellers are coming to the conclusion that you know this market is going to be a consolidation market. So we will have to see but every day market make more than 200 point move and you know next 5 trading session it can move 1000 point move but yet on a close to close basis it may not go significantly higher. Right now the US futures are higher uh, but remember last 2 days also the US futures were higher but when the market opened the sell off came and closed negative and today for the third straight day US futures are higher in the pre market and we have to see where it closes accordingly we will be uh, opening tomorrow but if all goes well and I think uh, 16,400 is going to be a very very uh, good support and in fact uh, uh, I have sold a lot of 16,400 put options and uh, 16,400 and below and of course for hedging I have some buy options and uh, I bought 17,000 put option and sold uh, 5 times uh, 16,400 put option for the next week expiry. So my lower break even will be around uh, 16,200 or something like that. And as long as markets consolidating, not falling much, I will be making some good profit. As of now, the FIA data is still not out and uh, that is another reason to worry. Sometime usually uh, the very very bad data then only the uh, data reporting gets delayed and uh, so as of now it is still not out but now this time is almost 6 30 so I have to go out for my dinner so that's why I'm just closing it so let us see tomorrow what happens and uh, tomorrow if bank nifty starts outperforming then market can cross 16,700 which was the recent low. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you for watching.